Islam. It's a great day to know law. It's a great day in this Moorish society as well. For the record, I stand squarely affirmed upon my oath to the five points of light, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Divine honors to noble Drew Ali and the Moorish divine and national movement of the world. As you see, this is a European schools jabbing bullets about the Moors. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I made the last video and he commented and agreed to take my video down because he knows he is in error. I said, don't take my video down, just change the title and be more respectful, which he agreed to do, but he never fulfilled his agreement because he is a fraud and he's not a man of his word. All his videos are slandering the Moors trying to make it look like these Moors are going into tribunals and are in error for enforcing international law and the Constitution. But he got a whooping when U.S. came out and blatantly said that they're pulling out from the Human Rights Council because they don't honor or recognize basic fundamental rights and human rights. The Declaration of Human Rights and the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. These Moors go in there and try to enforce um, principles that has been honored since ancient times and these war criminals don't recognize it that doesn't mean that the Moors are in error that means that they're dealing with war crime criminals now three years ago I did a video in regards to the American Bar Association doing a review on the seats being abandoned by the United States for years in the international criminal courts they made agreements with different countries that they will give them aid but no matter what crimes they commit, when their soldiers are in their countries, that they won't arrest them because they're criminals. So, yeah, he got a big whooping on that, man, because and I hope you're not calling yourself a U.S. citizen because the nations of the world are seeing you as supporters of war crime criminals. So, yeah, man, the more has been putting it down because, again, we honor and enforce law and ancient principles. Trop versus duels. Nationality is the right of rights. You must have a nationality to access fundamental rights. The Declaration, on, um, the Declaration of Human Rights, Article 15 states you have a right to a nationality. So U.S. has admitted they don't even, they're, they're not even going to honor you having a nationality. And the reason why is because when you don't have a nationality, again, you can't access fundamental rights. So they can violate you and violate you and violate you. But they don't violate me. So you can send me a you can send me an email and I can send you multiple cases that I went to these tribunals and got them case dismissed, case dismissed, attorney withdrawal, all this. So email me so I can send this stuff to you, man. I'm telling you, this jabbing bullets is not a man of his word. Go look at the go look at the comment. He agreed to change the title and be more respectful, and he didn't do it. Another thing I want to speak about real quick is uh nationals in Mexico. What happened was um, Article 36 of the Vienna Convention states that if somebody in a, um, from another country, a foreigner, is arrested in another country, they have a right to contact their consul in their country to have a representative to help them with their charges, which the U.S. didn't do with these nationals from Mexico. And some of them went, to, went through trial and they was getting ready to be executed. So International Criminal Court contacted Obama and said, look, until we get this mess um, straightened out, Contact Texas and tell them not to execute um, the nationals there that, that are um, due for execution. So Obama did just that. He honored that and contacted Texas and said, don't execute them until International Criminal Court comes with a, with a, uh, a decision. Well, the Texas, the Texas governor and the courts said, forget that, and they executed them. So they're, um, they're blatantly being war crime criminals, man. So again... When these Moors go into these tribunals and attempt to enforce the Constitution and international principles, it's not that they're in error, it's that they're dealing with war crime criminals. So again, this European school jabbing bullets about the Moors. So you need to go unsubscribe to this joker, man. Because again, go look at them comments. He agreed like a man to, to be more respectful and change that title, and he didn't do it because he has an agenda. He's an agent to try to get you to steer away from having a nationality. Because again, trop versus duels, to access fundamental rights, you must have a nationality. So if you're calling yourself white, if you're calling yourself black, 
There's no way you're going to be able to access fundamental rights. You have to have a nationality. So I hope you ain't calling yourself U.S. citizens, man. This is the word of the day. Nationality is the order of the day. So go study nationality. Go find out who you are. Go find out who your bloodline ties back to, like me. I went and found out um, the, the video cut off at the end on the last one. In 1856, my family came here from Austria on the, on the boat Stella. They came from Austria, went to Cornwall, and then they went on to Ellis Island. Go look up your people, man, and find out who they are and start honoring your foremothers and forefathers. Start practicing your culture and everything that they used to do, and things will come in line, things will come aligned for you. So the Moors ain't in error. They've been right all along, man. Who would have known? Islam.